Kathleen Flynn, The Kitchen Counter Cooking School How a Few Simple Lessons Transformed Nine Culinary Novices into Fearless Home Cooks In The Kitchen Counter Cooking School, Kathleen Flynn teaches nine culinary novices the skills and knowledge needed to prepare healthier, home-cooked meals. By empowering them to take control of their food choices and create delicious, nutritious meals from scratch, these individuals learn to break free from corporations' control over their diet, master essential cooking skills, develop their palate, and gain confidence in the kitchen. As you delve into this summary, you'll discover helpful tips and inspiring stories about transforming your own cooking and eating habits. Taking control of your plate Chef Kathleen Flynn's mission to equip home cooks with the necessary skills to cook healthy and delicious meals highlights the dangers of outsourcing cooking to corporations and losing control over what we eat. Chef and food writer Kathleen Flynn's chance encounter with a shopper in a supermarket sparked a profound realization while spending half an hour leading the shopper around the market, showing her how her cart filled with pre-made meals lacking essential nutritional value that were also less affordable than fresh ingredients could be replaced. Her key takeaway was the danger of outsourcing cooking to major corporations and losing control over what we ingest as a result. She started a mission to instill confidence and knowledge in those who have developed a habit of outsourcing cooking by putting out a call on the radio for people who would allow her into their homes and pantries for practical cooking lessons. The demand was overwhelming, and she chose 10 cooks from different socioeconomic backgrounds, all of whom claimed to be poor cooks. The resulting journey didn't just equip them with vital kitchen skills but also led to fundamental changes in their relationships with food. Flynn's mission provided home cooks with the necessary information and skills they could use to take control of their plate. Don't outsource cooking to corporations, instead, you have the power to choose what you eat and how healthy and delicious your meals are. Mastering Knife Skills A cook must know how to wield a knife efficiently. In her book, The Kitchen Counter Cooking School, Kathleen Flynn emphasized skill set as the key factor in cooking. Flynn instructed her students on the importance of knife selection, the proper use of knives, and demonstrated correct chopping techniques. High-carbon steel knives can last up to three decades with proper care. It is significant to choose knives that feel comfortable in your hand when purchasing a set. It's essential to hold a knife correctly for maximum efficiency by shaking hands with it and holding it at the blade's base for control. The correct technique in chopping involves cutting in a rocking motion, bringing the tip of the knife down on the board first. Mastery of these skills was a major step for Flynn's students, giving them confidence in their future culinary endeavors. Flavorful Cooking Learn to season your food and develop your palate by understanding basic flavors of key ingredients and creating your own seasoning mixes, called flavor splashes. This will allow you to cook confidently by trusting your own taste buds and instincts. The participants in the cooking class were discouraged because their dishes turned out bland, and they resorted to pre-made meals that were always packed with salt and flavor. To address this problem, the instructor, Flynn, took them back to basics and conducted blind tasting sessions using everyday ingredients like salt and canned tomatoes. These tastings helped the cooks discern different flavors and gain confidence in their own taste buds. Flynn emphasized that to become confident in the kitchen, one has to develop their palate. This involves learning how to make their own seasoning mixes or flavor splashes and understanding basic flavors of key ingredients. Lemon juice, butter, and fresh herbs make a good combination, and soy sauce goes well with ginger, lime juice, and chili. Italian staples like parmesan, tomato, pesto, and olives also complement each other. To cook with these flavor splashes, Flynn taught the participants some simple tricks. Marinating fish, meat, or tofu before cooking allows them to absorb more flavor, and adding a bright, fresh flavor like vinegar or lemon juice just before the dish is ready enhances it further. In conclusion, developing your own palate and trusting your taste buds and instincts is critical to becoming a great cook. By learning how to season your own dishes, you can confidently create flavorful meals that match your unique preferences. 
The Joy of Vegetable Cooking Many people find vegetables bland and unappetizing, but understanding proper preparation techniques can transform them into a delicious and healthy addition to any meal. In her book, author Flint emphasizes the importance of mastering a few simple cooking methods for vegetables, including sautéing, steaming, and roasting. Sautéing involves cooking briefly at high temperatures to draw out flavorful caramelization, while steaming maintains color and nutrients while retaining a good texture. Boiling delicate vegetables like asparagus using the French method and then submerging them in ice water preserves their color and crunch. Roasting intensifies vegetables' flavors and adds a delightful crunch. With a little creativity and seasoning, vegetable dishes can even outshine a steak. Flynn's book offers a wealth of tips and inspiration for those looking to make vegetables a joy to eat. Master the Art of Cooking a Whole Chicken Discover the secret to cooking a delicious whole chicken and learn how it can feed your family for days in this insightful piece. Growing up on a farm, Flynn became familiar with the animals she would later eat, especially her favorite cow, Betsy. Today, most consumers buy their meat already dissected in the supermarket without a connection to its origin. Flynn believes that working with a whole chicken is one of the best ways to establish a connection with food. In one of her classes, she teaches home cooks the art of working with a whole bird, which can feed a family for multiple meals. To prepare the chicken, season it with a mix of butter or oil, acid, and seasoning. Carefully separate the skin from the meat and rub the seasoning mix inside the cavity with some oil or butter. Stuff the chicken with fresh ingredients and roast it at 425 degrees for an hour. Once done, let the chicken rest outside the oven covered in silver foil to make it extra moist. A whole chicken is a cost-effective alternative to buying pre-packaged chicken breasts, and it can be used in various dishes, including salads, pasta dishes, and tacos. Even the bones can be boiled with herbs and veggies to create a nutritious chicken stock for soups and stews. In conclusion, learning how to cook a whole chicken is a valuable skill for all cooks to have. It connects us with our food and provides a cost-effective option that can feed a family for several meals. Preventing Food Waste Americans throw away 25-30% to 30 of the food they buy, which cumulatively wastes tons of food rotting in landfills. Not only is food waste bad for the environment, but it's also costly, estimated at over $100 billion annually. To address the issue, one class developed innovative recipes, such as desperation pizzas and hearty soups, to use leftover food instead of throwing it away. The best way to prevent food waste is by planning meals before shopping and buying only what is necessary. The Joy of Homemade Bread Learn why homemade bread is healthier and tastier than store-bought loaves and how easy it is to make it at home. As a child, Flynn loved the comfort of eating her parents' homemade bread. However, her classmates made fun of her for it, leading her to start buying the white, store-bought loaves her peers were eating. But in comparison to what she was used to, the bread tasted like tissue paper. Flynn realized that homemade bread is not only more delicious, but also healthier than supermarket loaves. Store-bought bread is filled with a dizzying array of additives, including high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated fats that contribute to obesity and other health problems. On the other hand, a classic loaf made at home with just four key ingredients, flour, salt, yeast, and water is both tastier and healthier. Making bread at home doesn't have to take long and doesn't require any kneading. All you need is 3 cups of lukewarm water, 1.5 tablespoons of yeast, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and 6.5 cups of flour. Mix the ingredients together until the dough is wet and sticky, leave it to rise for 2 hours in a covered bowl. Then tear off a ball of dough about the size of a grapefruit, Shape it into a smooth round loaf and leave to plump up for another 90 minutes. To bake, preheat your oven to 450 degrees and place a cast iron skillet or baking tray in the middle of the oven and a metal pan filled with water on the bottom. This creates steam, which helps with the baking process. Finally, place the dough ball on the skillet and bake for 30 minutes until the loaf is golden brown and feels light when you lift it. 
Bread making doesn't have to be the territory of professional bakers and industrial manufacturers. Homemade bread can once again become a comforting part of everyday life. So why not try making your own loaf of bread today? Fast, homemade meals. Are you tired of ordering takeout every night? Then it's time to learn how to make simple, delicious, fast foods at home. In her book, Flynn teaches her students easy dishes that take as little time and effort as ordering takeout. One of the keys to success is mastering simple pasta sauces. For example, an Alfredo sauce only requires cream, shredded cheese, and salt and pepper to make. A fresh Pomodoro sauce is even easier, requiring just olive oil, cherry tomatoes, garlic, salt, and pepper. Omelets and baked fish are other quick and tasty meals to master. So next time you feel too exhausted to cook, try making one of these easy options and enjoy a relaxing evening at home with good food and wine. Transform your cooking with kitchen counter principles. Applying principles learned at the kitchen counter cooking school can have a major impact on your cooking skills and confidence in the kitchen. In Kitchen Counter Cooking School, author Kathleen Flynn shares the transformative experiences of participants who attended her cooking classes. Flynn paid a follow-up visit to the participants and was pleasantly surprised by the significant changes in their cooking styles. The young woman who once relied on energy drinks and garlic bread had become a scratch cook, while a chronically insecure housewife now had the confidence to bottle her applesauce. One participant even reduced her monthly takeout meals from 20 times a month to just two. Applying the principles of the kitchen counter cooking school can help anyone become a more experimental and confident chef. Participants found that they were making better choices in the supermarket and felt informed enough to experiment in the kitchen. They were no longer afraid to try new things and trusted themselves enough to experiment. One of the key lessons of Flynn's course was the importance of changing the way we shop. We need to scrutinize labels and opt for unprocessed food whenever possible. Instead of buying in bulk and letting fresh produce go to waste, we should buy only what we plan to use in the next couple of days. However, some non-perishable items like capers, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and canned beans and chickpeas are worth stocking up on. Having a few basics in the cupboard like tortillas and pasta can also make preparing desperation meals easy. Having a well-stocked spice cupboard and good quality olive oil and vinegar is also important. Experimenting with different seasonings can turn a bland dish into a flavorful one. In conclusion, applying the principles of the kitchen counter cooking school can have a transformative impact on anyone's cooking style and confidence in the kitchen. So, grab your knife and get cooking. Kathleen Flynn's The Kitchen Counter Cooking School offers a glimpse into the lives of nine individuals as they embark on a journey to improve their cooking skills and food habits. By the end of the book, we see them develop into confident home cooks with newfound knowledge of knife skills, seasoning, food sourcing, and waste management. Their transformation serves as a testament to Flynn's mission of demystifying cooking for the everyday person. By embracing the lessons in this book, you too can become a brave and experimental chef, empowering yourself to make informed choices, create delicious meals from scratch, and ultimately take control over the food you and your family consume.